<laughs> Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome this evening. If I can have your attention please, we're just about to start. I'm going to hand you over straight away to our president, Anne, who's going to say a few words. Okay? <laughs> Hello everybody. Lovely to see you. My goodness me. So, anyway. What I was going to say is the fact that this is our, um, at the Marsh Academy. What a delightful venue we have here. I've had a very quick glance round and uh, the variety is unbelievable. Um, and uh, it's a lovely to see such a wonderful selection. Um, the main concern is that this is a lovely venue that we have. We've had this exhibition before, of course. Um, but it's delightful, it's easy accessible, and we're right in the middle of the Romney Marsh, which of course we all love. And uh, a lot of the paintings are showing forth the Romney Marsh, what a beautiful place we live in. Um, just to say a few words about our committee, we wouldn't, this, uh, they, my dearest committee here, they work so hard day after day getting all this put together. It doesn't take five minutes, it takes weeks of planning, and uh, I do appreciate all of you, to each one of you. Um, thank you very much. What a lovely you're doing for us. Anyway, eventually now. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'm now going to introduce you to Kay, who's um, going to open the exhibition. So, delighted. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anne. Thank you. For a little while. Okay. All right. okay. <laughs> While we're on the subject of the committee, um, I think we'd all like to say a special thank you to Philippa. Oh, yes, thank there, you. who has just held it together right. this last year and so the, the committee um, are very grateful for that and I don't know what they would have done without you really. Can everyone hear me? I've got a bit of a deep... Oh, oh right! <laughs> <laughs> That's better! <laughs> <laughs> Sharp. <laughs> That's what I think. I think we have something for Philip from the committee. Do we? <laughs> this is one of those pregnant pauses, isn't it? Pregnant. Yes. Oh, I know I'm speaking in the wrong way. That's why. Right. Thank you very much, Philippa, for all you've done. And Anne, would you stay with me for one moment? Because I just have a few words to say about Anne. I've got these notes here. No, no, thank you, Alan, very much for introducing me. But when I started painting about 16 years ago at the um, St Mary's Bay Little Art Group, I off I went with my little W.H. Smith pad and paints. and then... changed. Exactly. <laughs> I still do. And um, I mean, how to paint book. <laughs> I've still got the how to paint book. And so there I was sitting there painting away and then Anne walked in, frightened the life out of me. She's a very noisy painter and she sat down and I'm, 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 I'm sitting like this going, really you all have to wait for. And she's going, painting off the painting, these wonderful loose paintings she did. And I have to say thank you to Anne because she taught me to do wet into wet and stop just colouring in. Didn't you? I, I coloured in out my how to paint book, didn't I? <laughs> so she taught me how to do wet in sweat. So for that hand, I'm very grateful. Oh, that's very nice. As I'm standing here, I think there's a lot of people out there saying, who's Kay Curtis? We don't know. No. Nope. Never well, ever. the only thing I can say is that Last year, Damien Collins didn't turn up. <laughs> Far more important than me, but I have turned up, so now you yes, so that's who I am. <laughs> I will now explain my involvement in the Romney Marsh Art Society. I'm not on the committee now, but I have a very important job. My job is the steward rotor monitor. <laughs> So that's where I come into this. And also, I do check the labels with a crew, well, a team of others. So if any labels are wrong, it's, your it's the other three, okay? <laughs> I, I'm coming to that. <laughs> I've got it here. <laughs> anyway, after a, a couple of years in the um, St Mary's Bay group, I noticed all the others were 
putting their paintings in the Romney Marsh Art Society. So I thought, well, I'll go and join that. So I did, but I couldn't because they had a waiting list. I don't know if they still do have a waiting list. No, back in the day, we back in the day we used to have a waiting list, didn't we? So anyway, the first year, I know I was petrified of that frosty old committee that worked for us. I hope there's none here tonight. I think most of them are dead, actually, so they've got right. Um, <laughs> there might be a few. Anyway, um, so, and... Back then, and as a non-member, I could put my one painting in, and it was over at the, um, was it called the theatre? Yes, yes. In, here. Okay. It was a lovely big L-shaped room with great big windows, very light, but there was one long, dark corridor. And it's not sour grapes, because I've still got that painting, but mine was right down the darkest point and the highest up and you had to have a telescope and a torch to see it. But I, I still got it, so I have to be. You mean it didn't sell? It didn't sell, no, no. Anyway, after a couple of years, um, I was still waiting, put my one painting in, I started to sell, thanks to the help of others. So, um, so that was that part, and I've forgotten where I'm up to now. So anyway, yeah, finally I became a full member and was able to put my four paintings in. And I don't know how, but somehow or other, I ended up on committee. They and then they were desperate. They were even more desperate when they said they needed a chair, a chair, a new chair. So if it had been these days, I would have said it was the Prosecco, because I found that Prosecco makes me say yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it has got me into a bit of trouble lately, but anyway, that's another story. Um, so, um, and so I became the chair for some reason, and, and that I did for three years, and I really enjoyed it. But I did decide it was Jeff Phipps turn. <laughs> and he's never forgiven me. But I did stay your vice for two years, didn't Excuse I? Me. I did. I was his vice. And that was before Prosecco, and also before Prosecco. So that's my involvement with the Romney Marsh. I stayed on another two years with, um, with um, what's his name? Jeff, that's it. So, yes, that's it. Yeah. So, but I have to say, over the years, how this has changed, the Romney Marsh, hasn't it, just? I mean, it used to be, there was a Frosty Committee, and we were all scared of them. When we queued up to book in, he was always trying to do something wrong, but yesterday it's all relaxed and we're laughing. And now the diversity of the paintings is just the styles. It's, I mean, I, do, I still like nice little watercolours, but there are some out, some mediums out there that are fantastic. We've got Youngsters Joy, so there's just such a wide variety. There must be something everyone knows here. So, and also we've got sculptures and we've got cards, and so, yes, it's, it has. So, I'm nearly finished. Actually, someone said when they heard I was opening this, can she talk? <laughs> <laughs> so, I think my Derek's up there going, oh yes, she can talk. So, it, now, I don't want you all to rush after this, because got, I've got something else to do. Have I? Yes, yes. yes. So I'm going to open it and then I stay where you are because I've got something else to do. So it now gives me great pleasure to open not only the best exhibition on the marsh, but the best exhibition in Kent. So please enjoy. It's now open. <laughs> Peace. 
Thank you, Kay. That's a bit of a shock, but um, we we'll carry on. Okay. What, passing it over to you is a bit of a shock. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we are going to present the Betsy Summers Student Bursary Award for 2019. We have three students in the running, and if you've already had a good look round, you will have seen in the alcove to my left there the students' work on display. And the three students who are up for this are Lucy Cole, Summer Pilkington, and Helena Castillo. Um, and I wonder, are they here tonight? Hooray, Helena's here, Summer's here, and Lucy's here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you'd like to come forward, yeah, that'd be brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, be brave. Okay, so we were very lucky and very privileged, uh, me and two of my colleagues from the committee, to go and have a look at the artwork that's produced here at the school. And it is phenomenal. It's really, really smashing. And um, we chose the best of the best, and here they are. And I have great pleasure in presenting these prizes in, if you like, reverse order. <laughs> well, we've got two others up, and we've got a winner of the main bursary. The runners-up will receive um, tokens, and the winner will receive a slightly larger token <laughs> and, and a certificate. So, here we go. Um, I haven't got enough hands. <laughs> Summer Pilkington, you are a runner-up, and here is your And Helena Hastelo, you are also a runner. I don't know if this is good or bad, really. <laughs> Congratulations. And that, oh, that leaves one person here. So, Lucy Cole, you are the uh, winner of the Betsy, Betsy Summer Student Bursary Award for 2019. So, congratulations. <laughs> So there we are, everyone, and a big round of applause, I think, okay. for all three. We are now going to have a photo taken.